right now we're gonna show you how to set your record stop height which is the point in the feeder house stroke where the documentation kicks on and off it's important because most people have a shortcut set on their handle and if you get the record stop height set outside of that shortcut it could possibly keep your recording from activating the proper time so in order to set that record stop height we're going to go to your combine button, go to the third page, which is the uh, your header information. Down at the very bottom, you'll have record stop height and a percentage. You simply want to move your move your header to the point in the feeder house stroke where you want the recording to activate and deactivate. Once you're there. Use your check mark to select the accept arrow and it's going to record the record your new height percentage and then you're done. Now we're going to show you how to enter a moisture correction value on a 70 series combine. If you notice your moisture reading is off of what a actual tested moisture is, you can enter a correction value but to that by going to your combine button, going to the fourth page, this is your moisture meter information. If you scroll down to the moisture correction line, first of all you will want to have a checkbox in the moisture correction and then over next to that is your correction value. Right now 0.0, .0 we're reading no correction, just the raw number coming out of the moisture meter. But say, for example, your corn is testing at the elevator, it's testing 17, but your, your combine moisture meter is only showing 16. We can bump that up a point by simply checking the box, highlighting it, using our knob to dial up to 1.0. And now our moisture is going to be corrected up one point constantly so if at any if at any time later in the season you may have to adjust this correction as conditions change test weight crop moisture as it changes different different crops read differently so you keep an, keep an eye on your moisture readout versus what your actual samples are reading and correct that as needed okay now we're gonna show you how to get to the yield calibration menu on a 70 series combine. It's located under our diagnostics button. By going to the second page, which is the calibrations menu. From the calibrations drop down box, yield is gonna be the very bottom one. If, if your menu starts out at the top, simply scroll down to the bottom. And use your check mark to accept yield. Scroll to the accept arrow, check that. This brings us into our calibration menu. Gives you an option to manually update the calibration factor if you calculate that by hand. Gives us a update scale weight button and also a next page icon to take us into a new calibration. If we want to do a new calibration, we would hit next page. It'll ask you to choose standard calibration or low flow calibration. You have to do a standard calibration first, and then you would allow you to do a low flow. Basically, standard calibration is your normal operating speed and operating width. Low flow would be either half speed and full header width or half header width and full speed to give yourself a different point on the calibration curve. Then you would enter your next page. This is your screen where you would begin har collecting a harvest weight sample. If we could, if we were in the field we would begin harvesting. Our flow bar would show flow at the, at the mass flow sensor and also a total collected weight. We can leave that screen up while we're harvesting or you can go back to the calibrations menu go back into calibrations 
and then finish up our calibration at any point later on. You want to collect at least 5,000 pounds on a yield test to ensure accurate sample. In our case, we're not going to be able to finish up since we're not able to actually harvest. But here, if we did have a actual sample, we could enter our scale weight here, and it's going to compare that to what it thinks it harvested and update our calibration factor for us automatically. That's a quick run through on calibration on a 70 series combine.